All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to replace the battery on this uh, Acer Predator Helios 300. The full model number of this specific one is PH315-53-72XD. All right, so if you're wondering how to remove the bottom cover, I have a separate video for that. All right, it's actually pretty simple to remove. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and replace the battery now. Hopefully it's just a battery issue because uh, when we plug it in, the battery never charges, it just stays at zero. Anyways, so here we're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you this, okay? So there's only two screws holding this battery in place. Uh, first thing you wanna do is actually disconnect the battery. So this thing has little wings on it. So I just use my fingernails and then just wiggle left, right, left, right, just slowly like this and eventually it pops out just like that. Okay, to be safe, you can actually open up the laptop, all right, and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power. All right, this makes it a lot safer to work on, um, but if you're just replacing the battery, you probably don't need to do this. I mean, 15 seconds, it's not too long, might as well do it, um, but usually the only time I hold the power button for this is if I'm replacing the LCD, LVDS uh, screen, connector, or anything like that. Okay, so if you're messing with this connector, you definitely want to press and hold the power button. All right, anyways, we're just gonna be pulling the battery out. So the battery is here. Uh, model number is AP18E7M. Okay, so here you can see we got an aftermarket, but AP18E7M. That's a replacement battery. Okay, you wanna take note of which way the connector is. You can see how the connector is uh, not showing the exposed pins there. So when you plug in this one, you wanna make sure to plug it the same way. You can actually also see the color of the wires. Black ones are here, red ones are over there. So yeah, okay, so when you go to plug it in, make sure same thing, black ones over here, red ones over there. If you flip it upside down, you can destroy your motherboard, okay? We're gonna undo the two screws, one on this bottom corner and then one on this top corner here. Okay, once you get those two screws out, it's a little bit tricky to remove. Um, we're gonna lift from this side. It does have a little tab here that's kind of holding it uh, in place. So what you wanna do is push this part of the battery up that way. If you want, you can also lift this, okay? And then once you lift that, you can easily slide that little clip out. And then now we can go ahead and lift this side, okay? And there you go. That's probably the easiest way to do it. They have this little tape here. Um, you don't really need to transfer that over. Um, okay, so next thing what we're gonna do to make it a little bit easier We're gonna go ahead line this up and actually plug it in but you can see under here There's the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery. All right keyboard backlight This is the touchpad trackpad connector and the keyboard connector here And then you have this for the I don't know if there's an LED on the front there actually Is that an LED? I don't think so No I don't think there's an LED there. So I'm not too sure what this is. It might be a hall, uh, hall effect sensor or whatever, uh, where if you open and close the computer, it can tell when it's open. Either that or it's some kind of like, I don't know, infrared or NFC thing. I don't know. If you know what it is, let us know. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. So line the connector up. Okay, again, make sure that the black wires are going this way and the red are going that way. Okay, and then pinch the two together. All right, you wanna make sure that it goes in straight. It's kind of wanting to go in crooked, but make sure, there we go. Okay, once you get that in, we're gonna go ahead and guide this wire over because it does need to kind of curve around like the original one. We're gonna slot this corner in first, okay? So get that little corner, this little tab under there. All right, oh, it's being a little tricky here. All right, so get that under there, then lower that down. And then this side, get that corner in there, push that forward and lower that down. All right, these two should line up. You can see this cable's over here, just move that out of the way. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Battery's pretty simple to um, get in there. Uh, if you wanna see a video on how to put the bottom cover back and everything, again, I have another video showing that. I have a full um, kind of well, not completely disassembly, but where I kind of take everything apart and then talk about all the internal components. So if you wanna see that, then watch that video. Okay, um, but anyways, let's go ahead and flip this over. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug the charger in now. Okay, I hope I left the other end of the charger plugged in because otherwise I gotta unplug some stuff to get this in. We're just gonna plug this into the charge port here. And this should light up orange. Okay, I think I did unplug it. So let me plug that back in and yeah, I'll be back. 
Okay, I plug the other end in, and as you can see, the orange light is on. So we should be good to go. I mean, I'm going to have to test, drain the battery, and then charge it up to make sure. Because the other battery was showing this orange light, but it never went anywhere. Like, the moment you unplug it, the battery just died. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much it. The bottom cover, just snap it all back in. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right? if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot. If you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, that's all there is to it. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. All right, let's drop this bike in.